everyone, welcome to Alpha Beta Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to provide you with step-by-step -step solution to the West African Senior School Certificate Examination 2022 Physics Practical, Alternative B, question number one. Without wasting time, let's get started. You are provided with a meter rule, a clamp, a mass labeled M, A stopwatch, and other necessary materials like the cello tape. Clamp the loaded meter rule firmly to the edge of the bench as shown in the diagram. L is the distance between the middle of the mass and the edge of the bench. Set the distance AB is equal to L is equal to 90 centimeters. So we set this side at 92.5 centimeters because the mass is placed at 2.5 centimeters. So the difference will give us 90. Since the length is measured from the middle of the mass to the edge of the bench. Displace the meter rule slightly and release it to perform vertical oscillations like this. When the meter rule moves up and down, that's one oscillation, up and down, two oscillations, up and down, three oscillations in that order. And we are going to count 10 complete oscillations. So this is our stopwatch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have 3.43 seconds. The length is 90 centimeters and the time for 10 complete oscillations is 3.43 seconds. We are going to repeat the time again for more accurate results. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we have three point three one seconds. So we find the average of the two times. That is three point four three plus three point three one divided by two in seconds because it's still time and we have 3.37 seconds determine the period t the period is the average time divided by 10 
still in seconds. And so we are going to divide 3.37 by 10 and we have 0 0.337. And we also evaluate log 100t. So first of all, let's find 100t. So 100 times this value will give us 33.7. And then we find log of 100t. So log 33.7 will give us 1.53. And finally, we find log of L. That is log 90 centimeters. And then log 90 will give us 1.95. And we repeat the procedure for four other values of length of 85 centimeters, 80 centimeters, 75 centimeters, and 70 centimeters, and then tabulate the results. Plot a graph with log 100t on the vertical axis and log L on the horizontal axis. So we need the values of log 100t. And they are all decimals. And it's difficult to plot decimals on the graph. So let's convert them to standard form by moving this point 1, 2. So we have 1, 5, 3 times 10 is by negative 2. The next point two, we move one, two, and we have one, five, one. The next one, four, seven, one, four, five, and then one, four, two. And for the values of log L, we move the point one, two, and we have one, nine, five, times 10 is going to negative two. The next value to move one, two, and we have one, nine, three. The next one, one, nine, zero, 188 and then 185. So we are going to plot these values on the graph. So we draw the vertical and horizontal axis. We are plotting a graph of log 100t on the vertical axis and log L on the horizontal axis. So we choose a scale. We choose a scale of two centimeters into two times ten is point negative two on both axes. So for the vertical axis, we start from one four zero since the minimum value is one four two. So the next will be one four two, and then one four four, one four six, one four eight, one five zero in that order. And on the horizontal axis to we start from 180 since the minimum value is 185. The next will be 182, 184, 186, and so on. The first point we have 153 on the vertical axis. 153 will be between 152 and 154. And then 195 on the horizontal axis, which will be between 194 and 196, will they will meet here. The next one, 151 on the vertical axis, is between 150 and 152. And then 193 will be between 192 and 194, meeting here. The next one, 147 be between 146 and 148 and 190 will meet here the next one 145 which is between 144 and 146 and then 188 which is here the next one 142 and 185 
So we draw the line of best fit. Determine the slope S of the graph. So for the slope, we draw a horizontal and a vertical line. We name here A, B, and C. The slope is change in BC over change in AB. For change in BC, we have 154 minus 146 times 10 is minus negative 2. And for change in AB, we have 196 minus. Now, the difference between 190 and 188 is 2. 2 divided by 10 is 0 0.2. So each small box on the horizontal axis is 0 0.2. So we have 188 here, 188.2, 0 .4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. We have 188.8, also times 10 exponent negative 2. So we cancel times 10 exponent negative 2. And 154 minus 146 is 8. And 196 minus 188.8 is 7.4. So we divide 8 by 7.4. And the slope is 1.08.